Adam, how are things up there in the icebox? Going pretty well, because your material up there seems like it's running a little thin. What the heck? This story was an incredible true event that happened. It's pretty amazing, huh? When you start to learn about it, you realize how big this event was. I think Barrow might have one great story left in her. In the northernmost town in our hemisphere, off the coast of Alaska, three California gray whales were discovered trapped in the ice. You gotta see this. Three gray whales are now trapped in walls of ice six inches thick. You have whales in trouble, and you didn't call me? I didn't call you because there's nothing you can do. There's always something you can do. NBC put it on national news that evening. Within 24 hours, every news service sent reporters to Alaska. There were over 150 journalists that flew to Barrow to report this story. This media circus sort of grew on the ice. It captured the imagination of the world. Rachel, I'd like you to meet Fred and Wilma. And this is Bam Bam. <gasps> Everything's going to be OK. When people united and helped the whales, it was hard work just to get them out. We can't waste any time. And so everybody comes to the table to start an effort and a movement to save these whales. The Inupiat people, oil companies, United States military. You ready to do this? Russia. Greenpeace activists. Why won't you give us a chance to get them out? Everyone was doing it for their own reasons. But that's not always bad. With every passing hour, their path to freedom slips further away as more of the ocean turns solid. Once that started, I think it was revealed how much it would actually take. The town of Barrow has shut down as school children and shopkeepers alike furiously work to cut a path to the ocean. This is a monumental task as all eyes and efforts are focused on saving the whales. The fact that a group of people carved holes for nearly five miles in order to create a trail for three whales to basically hop to freedom. It's pretty amazing. Where's Bam Bam? He's not coming up. Maybe he's hurt. You can't go down there. It's too dangerous. Everybody put their agenda aside for one moment to do something that was just lovely. <laughs> we are all more similar than we're dissimilar. The right cause at the right time will always win out. There's so much like us. We get scared and we're vulnerable and we need help sometimes too. It is a really beautiful story.